the Webb telescope has spotted a cosmic jewel, a ring of light created by a black hole spinning at over half the speed of light. This could change our understanding of the universe forever. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful space telescope ever built. It's been peering into the depths of the cosmos, revealing wonders we've only dreamed of. One of its latest and most breathtaking discoveries is the jeweled ring quasar, officially known as RXJ1131-1231. Located about 6 billion light-years away in the constellation Crater, this quasar isn't just any ordinary distant object. This cosmic gem is the result of a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing is a fascinating concept first predicted by Einstein. It happens when a massive object like a galaxy lies between us and a more distant object such as a quasar. The gravity from the massive object bends and magnifies the light from the distant object, acting like a natural telescope. This effect can create multiple images of the distant object and even distort them into rings, known as Einstein rings. So, the light from the newfound quasar has traveled 6 billion light years to reach us, and on its way, it passed through a massive galaxy. The gravitational pull of this galaxy bent and magnified the light from the quasar, creating four distinct images and the characteristic ring-like structure we see. This natural magnification allows us to study this distant quasar in incredible detail, something that would be impossible without this cosmic lensing effect. So, what exactly are we looking at? This quasar is essentially a supermassive black hole at the center of a distant galaxy, surrounded by an accretion disk of gas and dust. As material falls into the black hole, it heats up and emits enormous amounts of radiation, making quasars some of the brightest objects in the universe. But there's more to this quasar than its brightness. Observations have shown that the black hole at its center is spinning at over half the speed of light. This incredible speed suggests that the black hole has grown through the merging of multiple smaller galaxies, rather than simply pulling in material from its surroundings. Understanding this process helps astronomers piece together the history and evolution of these cosmic giants. The discovery of this jeweled green quasar isn't just a beautiful image, it's a window into the past. By studying it, astronomers can learn about the early universe, the formation and growth of black holes, and even the mysterious dark matter that makes up most of the universe's mass. Dark matter, which we can't see directly, interacts with regular matter through gravity. By studying quasars, researchers can better probe the distribution and properties of dark matter. This could eventually lead to breakthroughs in understanding one of the universe's biggest mysteries. Before we go, let's talk about another stunning image just brought by Webb. This is a view of two interacting galaxies known as the Penguin and the Egg. These galaxies, located about 326 million light-years away in the constellation Hydra, are locked in a cosmic dance, slowly merging over tens of millions of years. The Penguin, a distorted spiral galaxy, looms over the compact elliptical galaxy dubbed the Egg. This interaction, captured in breathtaking detail by the JWST, showcases the incredible gravitational forces at play as these two galaxies gradually draw closer together. Such interactions play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies. When galaxies interact, their mutual gravitational forces can trigger bursts of star formation, distort their shapes, and even lead to the eventual merging of the galaxies into a single, larger entity. In the case of the penguin and the egg, the intense gravitational forces are compressing gas and dust within the galaxies, igniting new waves of star formation. These regions of starburst activity are visible in the JWST image as bright, glowing areas within the galaxies. This provides astronomers with valuable insights into the life cycle of galaxies and the processes that lead to the birth of new stars. Before JWST, the Hubble Space Telescope also captured these interacting galaxies providing a different perspective. Hubble's images, taken in visible and near-infrared light, show the penguin's bright blue and red streaks of star formation and the smooth yellowish-white glow of the egg. While Hubble's images are incredibly detailed, JWST's ability to capture mid-infrared light offers new insights, 
revealing cooler, older stars and intricate dust structures that were not as visible before. Comparing the images from Hubble and JWST, we see how the combined data across different wavelengths enhances our understanding of these galaxies. Hubble's view highlights the active star formation and the visual structure, while JWST's mid-infrared view reveals the underlying dust and older star populations, providing a more complete picture of these interacting galaxies. In the web image, we can see the tidal tails, streams of stars and gas pulled out from the galaxies by their gravitational interaction. Eventually, the penguin and the egg will merge into a single, larger galaxy. Interestingly, a similar fate awaits our own Milky Way galaxy, which is on a collision course with the Andromeda galaxy. By studying interactions like the one between the penguin and the egg, astronomers can predict and model the future of our own galaxy. Such galactic collisions are more common than one might think. They're fundamental to the growth and evolution of galaxies throughout the universe. The data provided by the JWST on the penguin and the egg will help refine our understanding of these cosmic events. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.